Und dann versuchen sie schon, die Welt zu erkunden. Und irgendwann, da, da hält sie auch nichts mehr. Da kann auch die Mutti nichts mehr machen. Da gehen sie einfach raus. These are the needles in Earth's haystack. Der klassische Tragegriff. Die Jungtiere fallen noch in Tragstarre. Das sieht man hier ganz deutlich. Das heißt, die verhalten sich da völlig ruhig. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rarest animals in the world. For this list, we're looking at animals that are extremely hard to find in the wild for mostly unfortunate reasons. While some are rare because of their geography, the vast majority have been pushed to near extinction and thus have an atrophied population. For that reason, we hope much of this list is void in the near future. One by one, our planet's animals are disappearing. Number 10, the vaquita. The vaquita is a species of small porpoise that resides in the Gulf of California. It's considered the world's most rare marine mammal due to its tiny geographic range and serious loss in population from commercial fishing methods like gill netting. In 1997, just over 500 vaquitas were thought to be left in the world. By 2014, that number was 100. And by 2016, there are estimated to be as few as 60, with accidental netting accounting for the annual 20% drop in population. The Mexican government wants to make a change, ban these nets and find alternatives. It's estimated that within five years time, the intelligent and serene vaquita will be completely extinct. That is, unless a miracle conservation effort is made. You may not share our intellect, which might explain your disrespect for all the natural wonders that grow around you. Slugs, slugs, and thanks for all the things. Number nine, the northern bald ibis. This large, long-billed bird once occupied a giant slab of the Middle East, inhabiting dozens of countries on multiple continents. But that is far from the current case. The birds endured regional extinction, first in Europe, then in countries like Sudan, Turkey, Israel, and most recently Syria. And now, they're limited to one natural breeding population in Morocco. We still need more precision on exact management methodology of the areas that they feed in more. Hunting, disease, and habitat loss brought the population down to somewhere near 200 to 250, but Captive breeding has since doubled that number. Breeding and reintroduction programs are giving the birds a fighting chance, and with luck, they could take back a small chunk of their former range. Number eight, the pygmy three-toed sloth. Discovered on a small Panamanian island in 2001, the pygmy three-toed sloth has one of the smallest habitat ranges of any mammal. The entire species lives in a 1.7 square mile area of the island, roosting exclusively in the red mangrove trees. Being the victim of insular dwarfism and a genetic bottleneck, the sloths split from their original population when the island split from the mainland, and so became a genetically independent species whose isolation and limited range decreased their size and survivability. There are an estimated 79 dwarf sloths left on the island, and the species is categorized as critically endangered and critically adorable. We've discovered breeding females holding young of the pygmy sloth, but also we've discovered areas that are being cleared. Number seven, the Sumatran rhinoceros. There are only 100 Sumatran rhinos left in the world today and there are only nine being cared for in captivity. What these rhinos have gone through could be called a genocide. For absurd reasons that we can attribute to human narcissism, rhinos have been massacred in surreal numbers and ways, reducing the population to fragments. The Sumatran rhino is one of the primary victims, mostly due to illegal poaching. Living continuously for an estimated 15 million years, the Sumatran is considered to be the oldest species of rhino. Hundreds of thousands roamed several countries before persecution, but that has been reduced to less than 100 individuals in a small range of Sumatra. This actually pales in comparison to the Javan rhino with 60 individuals and the Northern white rhino with three, all of which are too old to breed. Working together, we hope to bring this species back from the edge of extinction. Number six, the Northern hairy-nosed wombat. Please don't bite me. As one of the rarest land animals in the world, 
the northern hairy-nosed wombat exists in an area of just over one square mile in Queensland, Northeast Australia. With a range that once encompassed hundreds of thousands of miles, the wombat's demise seems almost apocalyptic. That's not quite the case, as there are dozens of natural reasons for its decimation, though diseases like mange and toxoplasmosis are accountable. You can see they don't look like they can run very fast, but actually they can run 20 miles per hour. Fortunately for the cute marsupials, serious conservation efforts were undertaken, which increased the population from 30 in the 1970s to over 200 today. But there's still a long way to go. The fact that we have, within two years, we have got young coming out of the burrows is, is amazing. So, um, so we've exceeded all of ex expectations. Number five, the mega mouth shark. Reaching 18 feet long and swimming at depths of 500 feet, the nightmare-inducing mega mouth shark lived in total secrecy until its 1976 discovery. The animal had become entangled in the anchor of a US Navy ship off the coast of Hawaii. Its eventual examination resulted in a collective cheer for scientists, as few late 20th century discoveries had been so monumental. Including the original, there had been only 61 confirmed specimens of the Megamouth found as of January 2015. Catching them on video is even more rare. Just three have been videotaped in the wild. I was very surprised to find a Megamouth in shallow water near the coast. I mean, here's an animal that no one even knew it existed until 1976, a big animal. Number four, the Florida panther. The panther just walked out about 40 yards in front of us, walked straight towards us, and then turned right there 10 steps away. The Florida panther, aside from being an NHL team, is a subspecies of the common cougar. Separated from the general pack, the panthers made their own ecological niche in the Florida Everglades, and are the only known breeding population of cougars in the eastern U.S. So creating these corridors or greenways, greenways yeah. that allow these animals to be able to move out of their known territories now into other places that can support their populations. However, that very nearly ended 30 years ago. Hunting and habitat loss drove the already inconspicuous panthers into obscurity, with only 20 mature individuals existing in the wild in the 1970s. With so few left, the gene pool was weak. So reproduction was unsuccessful or problematic. Fearing a total annihilation, scientists mixed healthy Texan cougars into the population, which improved the genetic diversity and jump-started breeding. Today, there are an estimated 180 Florida panthers in the wild, and the species remains critically endangered. You tell him he was hot, he had his mouth open, big old teeth sticking out of that thing. Good night. Number three, the Hainan black-crested gibbon. Another example of island segregation are the black-crested gibbon inhabitants of the Hainan Island off the coast of China. Unlike the pygmy three-toed sloth, the gibbons managed to thrive on their own, reaching a dense and stable population of 2,000 during the 1950s. However, deforestation in the form of rubber and paper harvesting has decreased the population so severely that the gibbons are in the midst of an existential emergency. Fewer than 30 gibbons were found in the latest census, meaning there likely aren't enough individuals for the species to propagate naturally. They'll either die from genetic degradation or human ingenuity will save the world's rarest primate. We hope it's the latter. We write down how they have behaving and what fruit they prefer for scientific research purposes. Number two, the Yangtze giant softshell turtle. The Yangtze softshell turtle is so rare, in fact, that none exist in the wild. This cannot be 100% confirmed, of course, but the last wild sighting was in 1998. It hasn't been for lack of trying. As the name says, this turtle made its home in the Yangtze River in Asia, a heavily disturbed and polluted river that's claimed its share of species, including the now extinct Yangtze River dolphin. Considered the largest freshwater turtle in the world, the giant softshell has been pushed to the edge of existence through hunting, poisoning, and habitat destruction. Just three individuals are left on the planet, and attempted breeding has thus far been futile. Now this is the last female on the planet of this species of turtle, it. and this is literally the last chance we have to save this species. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions.
This is the world's heaviest and only flightless parrot. Another very distinctive feature is this curious piece of shell that juts forward. It's what gives the animals their name. The males use it to fight. Und uh, wir haben jetzt zum ersten Mal den Vater dabei gelassen. Und es geht fantastisch. Er kümmert sich auch rührend um die Kleinen. Wir sehen, dass er die Kleinen auch so ein bisschen beleckt. Und Number one, the giant squid. Occupying the lightless abyss of the deepest oceans, the giant squid is a legend for its rarity. For thousands of years, people reported tentacled sea monsters. It wasn't until 1857 that the monster's true identity was revealed. A zoologist named Japeta Stjenstrup studied dead specimens and made the first formal classification of the animal, calling it the giant squid. After such a revelation, the search was on to document a live one, but we had to wait another 150 years. By the turn of the 21st century, the giant squid remained the only known large animal to have never been photographed alive. That changed in 2002, when a squid was caught and photographed near the surface. Ten years later, the first video of a giant squid in its natural habitat was taken. To this day, that remains the only wild giant squid we've ever seen in motion. Do you agree with our list? Which rare animal are you most passionate about? For more inconspicuous top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Salute, salute, salute.